Today, we'll show you the 15 skills that every winger needs, including the five most important skill moves, the five most important passing or crossing skills, and five essential runs that every winger needs to know. You're watching All Attack. Skill Moves. Number five, the Ronaldo Chop. When you're running down the wing and you feel a defender is catching up to you, jump with both feet and use the inside of your foot to chop the ball behind your leg and the defender. Number four, the step over. When you're dribbling at a defender, bring one foot around the front of the ball. Then use the top of your other foot to push the ball the other direction past the defender. Number three, fake kick. When you're in a crossing position, touch the ball out to the side and run up as if you were going to cross it. But instead, use the inside of your foot to drag the ball past the defender. Number two, body faint. When you're facing a defender, take a large step one direction while at the same time dropping your shoulder and leaning your body the same way. Then push the ball the other direction and accelerate away. Number one, cut with speed. The most important skill move for a winger is also the most simple. You dribble at a defender with speed, then cut the ball past them before you get too close. Crossing. Number one, the curving chip. Using the inside edge of your foot close to your toe, strike the underside of the ball, but slightly off center. Allowing you to chip the ball, but also curve it into the path of a teammate. Number two, the low driven cross. Using the top of your foot, strike straight through the center of the ball. Not high or low on the ball, but right in the middle. This will send a low powerful cross that ideally will fly straight like an arrow. Number three, the dink cross. Using the front inside edge of your foot, strike the underside of the ball and stop your follow through quickly after impacting the ball. Creating a delicate chip or dink that will float over the head of defenders. Number four, hard pass. One of the most important crossing skills for a winger is simply passing the ball hard. And technique wise, all you do is use the inside of your foot and strike straight through the ball toward your target. The key is hitting it powerfully enough to get past defenders, but accurate enough 
that it goes right to your teammate. Number five, whipped cross. Use the area between the top of your foot and your laces and strike hard along the side of the ball. Producing a curving cross that has too much speed for defenders to cut out. Movements. Number five. Fake run, then check in. When you're looking to receive a ball to your feet, but a defender is following you closely, one thing you can do is fake like you're going to run behind, then actually move toward your teammate. Creating more space for you to receive the ball. Number four, the defender is too close, so run behind. Of course, you can also do the opposite. When you're being followed closely and you realize there's lots of space behind the defender, surprise them by suddenly accelerating down the wing. Number three, diagonal channel run. When there's lots of space between the full back and the center back, you can exploit the space with a diagonal run behind the defender's back. See, running diagonally will help you stay on side for longer. And if you get the ball, you'll potentially be through on goal. Number two, spread wide. When you're on the wing, looking for a pass, and a defender is nearby, one of the most basic movements that wingers do is spreading out toward the line and back a bit, all while facing the rest of the field. And assuming that the defender doesn't follow you too closely, this will create more space for you to receive the ball and allow you to see the whole pitch. Number one, move inside. Of course, sometimes when you're out wide, someone will block your passing angle anyway, even if you're standing on the sideline. And in these cases, you definitely can move inside to receive the ball. All right, everyone, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up right down there. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a comment about what you want to see next.